I decided I needed to get a tactical folder, whatever that means. So I looked for the biggest, meanest looking thing I could find for like under 10 bucks. And I got this over at Smoky Mountain Knife Works. I'm a little, they're having a little trouble mailing to a P.O. box, but I managed to get it anyway. But uh, it's big, ugly looking. And it surprised me. It's uh, what they call an assisted folder. It goes like a switchblade. And I never used one before. I sort of familiar with the concept, but it was a bit of a, I didn't know it was an assisted folder when I got it, so it was kind of a shock when it flipped open on me. <laughs> but uh, it's kind of an interesting design. It's aluminum, aluminum handle on it, and uh, this was supposed to be yellow, but it's kind of an orange. It's not bad. Uh, it was two dollars more for the one with the black, so I got the orange, so I guess technically I'm not tactical. It's, I don't know, we'll call it search and rescue or something, but it's a little harder to lose it if you drop it on the ground or whatever. But it's got a pocket clip. Uh, the handle's all aluminum, so it's got some heft to it. It's an interesting design. And it's got some belly to the blade. Nice big one. This is like a four and a quarter inch blade or something. But uh, it's got some heft to it. Uh, place for the thumb to support. Place for the index finger to support. So the blade is not, you're not working against the locking mechanism as you're working with the blade. But uh, and it's, it's got all kinds of detail on there and a pocket clip, which I like. And, uh, it's a liner lock. So it goes. can also flip it open with this little doohickey. <laughs> it's kind of a shocker. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of a nice, nice big, ugly folding knife to get something like that. And so now I got it. I got, I got, I've got my tactical folder. Ooh, I'm in with the in crowd now. So, but, uh, yeah, it's a nice little knife. And it's for, like, seven bucks. Ooh, I can live with that. <laughs>